Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good night. How are you people? Yes, it's um, difficult times for everyone around the world. I ex I'm imagining, except for China, who seem to be on the up and the mend and sorting themselves out, and they're over the worst. In one way, um, it's like, you know when somebody's parent dies, and you're so glad that you've got your parent alive, and then, you know, two or three years down the line, they um, have got over the grief of their parent, and they... Um, and then when your parent dies, you are just going through that grief. And not that they've got completely over it, but they start recovering and adjusting and accepting the cycle. This is a bit like what the coronavirus is like. China was the one that got it first. It was the one where we all were horrified and we felt sorry for them. And we all sat back, many people in their self-righteous feet or seat, believing, oh, I'm okay. It's all the way over there. Only now to find they're, they're on their last stretch and we are just beginning. It's very, very difficult times for us. It's very, very difficult times for everybody. But like I've been saying, it does give us an opportunity to start forming formidable relationships at home. Um, the Britons, apparently there'll soon be an antibody test. Is it called an antibody test? Let me just read this. Um, there's a test coming out for coronavirus immunity. It's going to be given to all the health workers first so that they can go back to work if they get the all clear. Um, it's not the same as the antigen. It's not the same as the vaccines that I said was talking about in another video. This is like, you know, like what the diabetics have and they just prick themselves with it. And um, that's supposed to be it, I believe. So the UK say it's ordered 3.5 million antibody tests that could be delivered to households by Amazon. And I believe that they, you then take them to the pharmacy. The United Kingdom will have test kits available within days to, set, to be sent to households to establish whether people have contracted the new coronavirus and developed immunity, a health official said on Wednesday. Sharon Peacock, that's the herd immunity that they were talking about, that you've actually fought it off. You've had it, you fought it off and you've got through it. OK, Sharon Peacock, interim director of the National Infection Service, said that millions of antibody tests have been ordered. And depending on their exact form, some might be able to be administered without leaving home. So it's something you're going to be administering yourself. So I guess if anybody, if anything goes wrong, you know, they can't say, oh, well, we did it. It's self-inflicted. I wonder what the... Um, disclaimer is for that. I wonder if they have something to protect people from doing it wrong or if you can do it wrong. Apparently it's a pinprick in your finger, just just similar, just like um, a diabetic, you know, and to check whether or not they get blood and I think they do it to test whether or not their insulin levels or whatever. Anyway, the tests are designed to establish whether people have previously been infected with the coronavirus as opposed to antigen tests. Um, antigen tests, um, let me tell you what that is. The definition of an antigen is a harmful substance which enters the body, which causes the body to make antibodies as a response to fight off disease. An example of an antigen is a common cold virus which causes the body to make antibodies, which help prevent the person from getting sick. Okay, so this um, antibody test is different from the antigen test. Um, these are brand new products, apparently. We have to be clear they work as they are claimed to do, Peacock told lawmakers. 
And it's kind of a scary thought that they don't know if they work. And then, you know, people are using them for like scapegoats a lot of the time. But once they have been tested, and that will happen this week, once the bulk of tests arrive, they will be distributed into the community, she said, adding that they could be delivered via Amazon. Testing, oh, incidentally, um, no, I won't say that now. I don't know, oh, I might as well deviate from this a little bit. I don't know if you've heard about the coronavirus challenge. Apparently, two boys um, went into the coronavirus challenge by licking um, stuff in a supermarket shelf and the other one um, licked a toilet seat. The boy who licked the, uh, the items on the shelves got 35 years. The guy who licked the toilet seat is in critical condition. So I understand. But you get people, they, they do all, these young people, they do all kind of challenges. Like one of them was falling from a building, I remember a few days ago, not a few days ago, a few weeks ago. And months before that, you know, they had this tripping challenge where somebody would trip somebody up and see how they fell and survived it. You know, people, they're just playing with their lives. I don't know why that just jumped in my head, but it did, and it did for a reason. So I was just sharing that with you. Anyway, um, testing the test is a small matter, and I would anticipate that it would be done by the end of this week. She said there are various different models and some might require people to go to a pharmacy. Now, that is where I get a bit concerned. Well, not necessarily concerned. I have to ask myself, why are there different models? Why can't they just use one model? I would feel more comfortable if it was one model for everyone. Pe Peacock said she thought any charge for the tests would be minimal so you have to pay for them and although she declined to say they would be available by next week she confirmed that they would be ready in days rather than weeks or months health minister matt hancock said on tuesday that the government had bought 3.5 million of the tests at a daily press briefing on the coronavirus crisis on wednesday prime minister boris johnson and his specialist medical advisors confirmed that the government was working on increasing the rate of testing, prioritising health workers. Al Jazeera's Roy Challens, reporting from Luz, said it might be a little longer until the general population can have enough tests. And that was taken from aljazeera.com. So, yeah, so, you know, I don't, like I said, I am not going to be um, alarming anybody in these videos. I mean, you, I'm going to give you the information. You can deduce from it what you may. I'm going to put the link below so you've got the source, and that will be my job done. So all you need to know is that the antibody tests are coming up next week. They'll be probably coming to everybody's door by Amazon and it's something that you self-administer. And I think it's like a fingerprint. I think for, I saw this little machine on in the newspaper. It might even be the one I'm going to put the link on below. And it's like a pinprick on the on the tip of your finger, like just like the di diabetes when they test their insulin levels. And that is supposed to be it. So that's all I'm going to say for now. Bye-bye.